Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 5 of IoT. So uh, what is basically there is there, uh, in this module, uh, first we have the Arduino programming, a few basic concepts about that, then we have Raspberry Pi and then we have the real life applications regarding the smart cities and this is very very important from the exam point of view. To understand the applications and uh, what are the techniques used, what are the sensors used, what are the technologies, you need to understand the basics of Arduino and Raspberry Pi which we will be discussing now in this video. So let's get started with the first topic before starting, make sure hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Let's get started. First is Arduino programming. Okay, so let me show you the architecture or the disk. What uh, is the Arduino? It is an open source advancement prototyping development model. Okay, like it is a, a thing like this. Inside that thing, what we will be doing, we'll, uh, we'll be using that thing to develop something. Okay, that's basically uh, what it is. And it has a reset button, jack, power jack, power pins, analog pins, microcontroller, power LED. By using these things, uh, by using this uh, thing, we can do many things. Okay, let's have a look at what other things we can do. So it has a microcontroller, digital pin for input output apply high uh, means 5 volt low means 0 volt and we have pwm pins okay pwm pins 11 uh, uh, 10 9 6 5 and 3 okay so there are many pins as well as we'll be doing the um, transmitting and the receiving so for that we have tx and rx pins as 0 and 1 t stands for transmit r stands for receive and we have different types of uh, pins for different purposes and you can go through it here all the things are there what does power pin do what does reset button do what does power on led and usb jack all the things are there go through it okay and here is the application of it what are the different types of things you can do motion sensor it allows you to detect movement suppose that i have an arduino here and i do like this it will detect it will detect that okay light sensor if there is a arduino and i put a light on that then it will detect that humidity temperature sensor if the heat rises or the temperature gets lower down all will be detected ultrasonic sensor what is the distance between the arduino and the person like for example if you go to um, some uh, washrooms in uh, hotels at that time if you put your hand that time the water will come right or if you put the hand the hot air will come there is a sensor on that it is detecting how much distance is between that and the hand if it is very near then it will be uh, switching it on all this happening because of the sensors attached okay so these things are the arduino things and there are many other things you can go through it and uh, this is the breadboard you need, you need to understand how this uh, breadboard works holes between the columns are not connected holes in the rows are not connected holes along the columns are connected these holes are connected together these all holes are connected together and between the columns are not connected okay so this is the two things which is not connected and uh, holes along the column are connected means all these uh, are connected these are also connected then so that was about the breadboard and uh, the structure of the program is given here setup we'll be having and we'll be having loop setup is for doing the initial setup like what are the uh, pins you will need to configure that and loop means what is the iterative statement again and again you will do okay so more details regarding that is given here and few more functions are there you can go through it <clears throat> so this is the basics of the programming i need not explain you can go through it different types of operators are there different variables different if else conditions for loop while loop do while loop and these are the different methods you can use digital read pin write pin and the examples are also given here just assign the variables and use the pin and lock pins are there there are different methods for the times okay so you can go through it in this notes it is there and uh, the difference between analog digital and pwm pins analog means you'll be having uh, unlimited possibility states between 0 and 1023 whatever state you said that much brightness will be there digital will be having just two states which is on and off pwm pins will be having two uh, outputs either 0 volt or 5 volt but it can have intermediate voltage as well okay so these are the uh, graphs for it coming to raspberry pi here we have the board of raspberry pi and the different components attached to that and here we'll be having gpio general uh, port input output okay so many are many pins are there each having different purposes gpios will be used for the correction whatever other processing you want to do so we have a processor power source sd card gpios can be used for the uh, coordinate circuit for the input and output things okay if you want some input uh, to be taken or you have to output something you can do that okay it can display audio jack is there status leds are also there okay so these are the different things present here and description of soc and accessories so these things are not asked in the exam point of view so i'm not dis uh, discussing much in depth but basic idea you need to know what uh, what it is right B without knowing what it is if you study the applications it is no use okay so you need to know what uh, the things are you can have the serial interfaces or spi which is a serial peripheral interfaces different kinds of uh, communication uh, techno uh, means techniques are there mis or master in slave out mosi master out slave in sck serial clock and so on okay operating systems various operating systems can be installed okay and the initial operating system which are installed is uh, present here you have the operating system which is linux based previous one was non linux based okay then we have the operating uh, media system media center operating system audio operating systems for each of these things we need the system right without system how can we work 
and here we have the operating system setup in raspberry pi pre-installed noobs operating system is already available in the many authorized as well as independent sellers so this is already installed pre-installed noobs are there which is the default system okay and these are the general commands like raspberry pi config clear date and uh, here we have the directory and file commands mkdi i want to make the directories networking commands are there so these things are not much asked in exam okay they will be asking you what is the architecture of raspberry pi what are the um, things you can do what are the application perspective okay they are always concerned about the application perspective what are the functions you will be using these kind of thing is just for your reference okay so focus more on what i will be telling Pro, uh, programming with raspberry pi so how do you write a program program is code print hello world program to add two numbers a is equal to 1.2 b is equal to uh, 5.3 simple c programming float a plus 4 b is sum print the sum okay so here different programs are there to roll a dice and to find the ip address of raspberry pi generate password and so on all the programs are not included for that you can uh, refer the official notes in that many programs are there okay so just to give you an idea uh, what uh, is the thing i'll be i'm telling this and this is important ds uh, 18b20 temperature sensor it was asked in the previous papers so make sure you know this temperature sensor it just uh, senses the temperature it is a part of raspberry pi okay so um and it has an alarm function when the temperature rises um to a certain limit it will be alarming it okay and the technical specifications are here you can go through a diagram is given here and the setup purpose is also given here and you can use the remote controls for the raspberry pi and the raspberry pi with uh, here are the steps for the setting up of local network and wireless connectivity okay and to enable ssh what you need to do what are the commands you need to do how to do that setting up the client <clears throat> okay so the main concept starts from here smart and connected cities okay so these two things are done the basics are covered the main thing is this one okay smart city and the application there are many different uh, aspects of it let's have a look so iot strategy for smarter cities see cities are there okay in cities many things are there like the traffic management where the building should be placed, where the mall should be there, how many uh, signals should be there so that the traffic flow will be smooth, where all uh, roads should be there, what is the parking spaces available if any car comes, uh, which are the persons to be assigned at which spot so that they can analyze the features of surroundings very well, and where are the sensors to be attached, many things are there. Okay, So for smarter cities, we'll be using IoT so that we can uh, make it more better. Okay, Few examples are there, the details I'll not be uh, discussing, just the topics I'll be uh, telling and the key points. Okay, So vertical IoT need means making the cities more better. Okay all uh, different kinds of um, improvements what you can uh, do that is present here you can go through it okay and uh, see this is the smart building gas monitoring smart parking water management road pricing every aspect of city has to be optimized okay so we have smart buildings in which the buildings will be connected and how the floors are to be arranged and what are the different uh, things needed uh, for the public's best um, experience in the buildings all those things are there gas monitoring can be there and smart parking water management the purity of the water is sensed and uh, road pricing global versus um siloid strategies and see here many questions are there how can you make the data collection devices as such as sensors maintained without high cost all these questions has to be answered so that the best iot's devices can come up okay and next we have the smart city iot architecture okay so this is not clear but it uh, does not matter we have the services layer here data center layer city layer and street layer the data comes from the street to the city and to the data center it gets stored and services are provided okay street layer street means if there is a lighting here okay means the street lights are there right and if there is no car passing by it the street lights electricity is getting wasted if a car comes and the street light gets on if a car comes here the street light this gets off next light gets on it will be like saving the electricity right that is what the street layer many uh, things are there here like uh, you can use the when it is to be on or off which sensors can be used video camera can be used car comes it will detect the car it will on the uh, on the sensor like that you can use uh, use magnetic sensor as well like that many other are there okay city layer is also there here in which the city layers different aspects are present where the camera is to be attached data center layer where all the data gets stored finally and these are the architectures and here we have the services layer once you get the data uh, get the data the services are to be provided right that and on premises and cloud where the data is to be stored security architecture how the data which is getting passed can be made more secure if it is not made more secure what will happen uh, the traffic signals all will get uh, green like that someone can do hack right so that has to be avoided and smart city uh, reference architecture many other here okay you can go through it that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.